Today was such an amazing day. If you had one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted, one moment, would you capture it or let it slip away? Because I sure didn't. Uh, Tesla 190 break to the upside, caught that into the 191, and then SPY made 22% in 30 seconds, and you guys are about to watch it live right now. So let's get right into the video. Oh, Tesla's 50 cents away. Watch Tesla. Bro, Tesla's just running. Here it goes. And NQ is running. I'm in these Tesla calls. Stop loss is going to be 189.5. Nice, Tesla. There we go, 4%. Nice. We anticipated that 190 break beautifully. 30s, 40s. Nice, Tesla. Take a little bit off right here in that 50s area. There we go. Taking half off right here. 7% now. About 9% right now. I want to see if I get these runners to 191. Stop loss to break even. Let's see if we got 191. Taking a little bit more off right here. Just because we're at this 191 area. Runners to break even or 191. I'm waiting for this 191 on the rest. We got a nice wall there. Yeah. 20,000. That was such a nice move. 11% like that. Let's see if it still wants to go or not. And Q needs a bounce. Well, that was beautiful. We got in right before that 190 break, too. This is going to try and go for that 191. Nice. Here comes this 191. 191. Let's go. 14%. Mostly out right here. So about 121. Retested 191. That 191 area is so nice. I only got a few contracts left. That was such a nice move. 15% like that. Red to green would be crazy on Tesla right here. I just want to see if they're going to pop this. Just because one, two, three, four green candles in a row, like I'm, you expect a pullback. We have like an 85% chance of us making a new high. So I'll take those chances. TNQ trying to get more comfortable above 13, 860. Here comes a new high on Tesla. There's new high. Nice. 17% right now. Nice. Above 4195, I think it would go. 50s, and I'm out. Selling right there. 18.50. Nice move. How many people caught? Oh my, look at that sell. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Got some reactions for YouTube. Let's get it. Fire trader. Dude, we literally like China anticipated that perfectly and it just kept going. It just kept going. Let's go, baby. That's how we do it. I traded Tesla today, that 190 to the upside. As you guys heard in the live trading video, I actually anticipated that uh, right before that 190 break. I think I got in at 189.90 ish, was my average buy mark wise. And I took the 190 calls. You guys can see the fills here as well. Actually, I'll do you guys something better. You guys are going to be able to see the entire fills right here for the day. So you guys know I am not capping. Now, if you guys take a look at me real quick, I'm up about 9.79%. Let's just, just come up to the camera real quick. Yeah, I'm up about 9.79%, which is pretty insane. And I literally just, it's because of optimization, honestly. But Tesla wasn't the only trade that I took. The second trade that I took was a... Full in, full out trade, and as you guys see the fills right here, you guys know that I'm not capping because you know it shows all the fills here. So you guys know that I was full in, full out. This was a 30 second trade for a 22% absolute banger, 
And for a 40 cent move to make 22%, that just shows me that the implied volatility really kicked up there, which is the reason why I made so much because I was looking at the percentage on the contracts and it went from 5% to 18% like that. And it's because the implied volatility and such a huge candle to the downside really kicked up those contracts. So I sold it at a perfect time. You guys can see my marks here as well. Again, TOS will send you marks where you buy, where you sell. And like I said, it was a 41 cent move, which means if I got 22%, it should have been like an 80 cent move to get that percentage, which just shows me that implied volatility was really kicking in. As you guys can see, 417.44 for my buy. And 2S only shows you this on real accounts as well. They don't show you this on a paper account. Uh, 417.03 was my sell. So as you guys see, those line up perfectly with my buy and sell. As you guys see, with the 10.15 and 10.16 fills as well, you guys can see the chart as well. Perfect, 22%, absolute banger. Now about 10% on the day, which is pretty insane. I've been withdrawing, you know, once a week, twice a week. Last week was twice, you know, in that whole week. And it's literally just because of the way that I've been optimizing my trades. Feels like I unlocked a new level of trading. The reason why I got in at 417.44 was because you saw under that intraday zone that I made, that's when I got into puts and it absolutely ran. And then as soon as it started buffering a little bit after a huge move to the downside, I wanted to secure quick profits. So when I saw it kind of just stop there and then try to come down again and fail to keep going down, I got fully out right there. I noticed that immediately on that wick because usually what happens after a 50 cent candle, it tries to come up. And especially this huge candle to the downside with not that huge volume compared to like the average huge volume candles. It just proved to me that I definitely needed to get out right there. There was just no point of being in. It had a 90% chance of coming up. So if I only have a 10% chance of this continuing to the downside, I am selling all right there at 22%. So a great day, amazing day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.